Hi everyone, my name is Allison and I work at the Eager Free Public Library in Evansville and I'm coming to you this Saturday with our Health and Wellness Library Short. So this month we are celebrating community and you've been doing some neat activities all week with the other Arrowhead Library System librarians and this Saturday I'm going to show you some ways to celebrate the heroes in our community. So I'm going to show you the hero yoga pose and a little relay race game show you the hero yoga pose but before I do I want you to think a little bit about what does a hero mean to you can you think of any heroes in your community maybe it's your teacher who's helping you learn this year whether it's virtually or at school or maybe it's someone in your family who um, helps you when you're feeling down or a neighbor or a doctor who's helped someone in your family get better or a firefighter who was a hero and rescued someone or someone's home in your in your town so think about what does it mean to be a hero? Some words that come to mind are brave, strong, kind, generous. So we'll think about those things and you can think about who is your hero while we get into hero's pose. It's a nice seated pose where you can feel comfortable to just think and pause. So how we do it is you're gonna sit on your knees, I'm gonna show you from the side and from the back. So you're gonna sit with your feet together and sit back on them like this. So you can kind of see how my legs are bent and my thighs are resting on my calves. So if I face you this way, you see that my knees and feet are all tucked in together, sort of hips width apart together. My, my feet aren't out to the side. And I can put my hands on my thighs or my knees I might roll my shoulders back, lift my head up, take a deep breath, and just think about a hero and what does that mean to you. So our second activity this month is a movement activity and it is a mail delivery relay race. So we have lots of people who work in our communities and one of them is the postal service and they deliver mail to our houses and businesses. They're out there day in and day out delivering the mail. So we are going to create a relay race to deliver mail in our house or in our yard <laughs> to play with and get some movement in on the weekend. So I got this activity from the Well Preschool in Madison. They have a really great Pinterest page with a lot of activities on it. So you can visit them if you're looking for more movement uh, things to try out. So all you need to do this is a pile of envelopes. I've got a stack here from our craft closet. You could recycle some or if you have some at home, you could also just use paper or um, really anything. And you will also need some stuff to set up your obstacle course. So I used things we have here in the library like books and our story time cushions and the furniture here. At home, you might have pillows, you might have some books, or you could get some from the library, or blocks, or things you could build some obstacles with. Maybe you have a hula hoop or a jump rope that you'd have to jump over. So you'll wanna build your course with things to move around. I have a little buddy here, Pete the Cat. He's gonna show you the course that I made in just a minute. Um, but I wanted to tell you a couple ways that you could play. So you could set up your course with two paths and play with a sibling or a friend um, and see who can deliver the most letters them quickly. So you could say we have two minutes, give each person a stack of letters and see who can deliver them the fastest. You'll start on one end and have your delivery point on the other end. You could also try timing yourself if you don't have a buddy to race against. Or you could say we both have five letters, let's see who can deliver them all the most quickly. Um, so you'd say ready, set, go and race each other to see who can make the deliveries. So. I'm going to show you the course that I made. Um, it's a great way to get some movement in. You can do it in your house on a cold, rainy day. Um, the, your mail will probably still get delivered on those days, but you might not want to play outside, so it could be a good way to get some exercise in when you're stuck at home. But you could also set up your obstacle course outside if you'd like to get some fresh air too. So Pete's going to show you how to do our course here at the library. Here's my friend Pete with his letter, and he is going to complete this obstacle course here made out of cushions and books. So first, he is going to try to walk and jump from cushion to cushion. Boing! 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 And then run as fast as he can to our next obstacle. 
with just some books. And he's gonna try to jump over them without knocking them over. You ready? One, two, three. Whoa, jump. <laughs> and here is his basket to deliver his letter. Yay! So you can make your obstacle course as challenging or as easy as you'd like. Um, you can use any amount of envelopes to deliver. I hope you guys have some fun moving and meditating on what your community heroes are. Thank you. Bye.